it's Nicole and if you're new here, I just wanted to do a quick introduction. I'm staying at CAPT. I'm a year one student in computer science at NUS. I'm going to separate the room makeover and the room tour because I feel like there's a lot that I can go through my room and I don't want the video to be too long. So this part is the room makeover and the room tour will come later on. Enjoy the video! So last week, I uploaded my move-in vlog and this was how the room looked before I did anything and this is the original layout and first things first, I shifted a lot of the furniture in my room like the shelf, I completely changed the orientation I saw someone do this somewhere, I can't remember where but I thought it was so genius so I replicated it Also, I shifted the table as well as the drawer that was originally under the table and you will see what I do with this drawer later on but that's about it for the move of furniture this is the final layout and now moving on to the door so this was how the door first looked when I moved in I thought it was really sweet with the welcome home Nicole but also this is how my door kind of looks like right now and we have door chalkings here at the residential colleges in NUS so I'll be vlogging a bit more about that in an upcoming video but what I like to do is I have this meme of the week kind of system going on so I printed a lot of memes and I have a whole arsenal ready and I just change it twice per week and I really enjoy the reactions that I get. Now moving on to my bed, I chose a really simple monochrome white grey-ish kind of bed sheets because I thought it was the simplest and easiest to match with anything. It's all tangled. <laughs> anyway, I'm planning to hang these lights like across around my bed. The highlight of my bed area is the lights. So here's me installing the lights and I think the length of the lanterns was just perfect because it stretched across the bed area really nicely with just a bit to dangle and I thought it was so pretty and it looks really nice at night. So right beside my head where I sleep, I pasted a few Polaroid pictures but really that's about it for the bed area. Also I didn't put anything more in front of my bed if that makes sense because I wanted that wall completely blank for this purpose. Yes, I brought my projector so having that blank wall is really very useful. Right beside my bed, I put a kind of storage unit or drawer so I thought it'd be a good segue to go from my bed to the desk area. On this drawer, I put my printer and on top of my printer, I put the digital clock that I got from Ezbuy. And I really, really like this setup. I think the pink really adds a nice pop of color to my otherwise very minimal and white kind of color scheme. And on the wall, I put a few pictures as well. And all these pictures were actually from Easy Buy as well. But I was really undecided on what to put on my wall. I really wanted to add more images that I had, but at the same time, I really liked how it was with just a few images because I thought it was kind of minimal and not too distracting but I gotta say I am very very fickle minded so I may or may not add more pictures in the future or just shift some of these images around I really don't know Speaking of fickle minded, I eventually decided to add more <laughs> images or decor to my wall so I ended up making some images on Procreate on my iPad and I printed it out so these are actually Korean Bible verses that I found online and I am studying Korean this semester so I thought it'd be nice to kind of have Korean around me if that makes sense This is John, John 3.16 if I'm not wrong This is Corinthians, I know because it's one of my favorite verses It's like my life verse You know what, I my Korean is really really beginner level I'm still learning and I'm really excited to improve to a level such that these are just yeah, easy to understand and everything So I was satisfied with this layout for the first few weeks 
but eventually I really switched things up. I changed the layout of the Korean Bible verses. I added more images. I removed those images. I printed out my timetable, pasted it on the wall, decided that I didn't like it there. I did some fruit drawings when I was anxious during an online class and I pasted those fruit drawings on my wall as well and they were kind of cute. The color scheme really matched the timetable but again, I shifted those drawings elsewhere and here you can see that it's gone. I changed the orientation of my whiteboard and pasted it on the wall and yeah, you'll see all of that and I am quite satisfied with this final layout. I think the whiteboard being on the wall definitely clears up more space on the side. So I decided to shift my whiteboard which was there to the wall to fill up that awkward space. I think the space just looks a lot more whole like this and I'm pretty happy with it. Now I'm just gonna try and see what I can put on the board. It's not as comfortable as when it was here. I could really easily write out my to-do lists. But actually, I also have this notebook where I write my to-do lists so I can use this whiteboard for something else. Moving on to the wardrobes and shelves, this is how the wardrobe looked when it was completely new and my clothes didn't live in it yet. This is how it looks now, roughly, more or less, I guess. I'll definitely have a closet capsule wardrobe for college kind of video, I'm planning something. But yes, look at me just embarrassing myself. This is the clothes rack that my mom got on Carousel, I believe. So it was quite affordable, not the most sturdy, but it works. I brought it to my dorm room. It was really awkward when I was in the lift because people saw me, but hey, I made it. <laughs> so this is me just hanging my clothes and it's actually really, really useful, especially since I don't really like using the dryer in my hostels. So I like to dry my clothes in my room. This is very, very helpful. Also, this is me just organizing the things that I have in my room, the cleaning supplies. This is me just clearing up the shelf because it was really, really cluttered and I'm still trying to be a bit more minimal. It's a journey. I am trying. But also, you see that painting on top? I'll vlog more about that in another video, but I basically moved it to above my wardrobe. Welcome back! Thank you for watching and if you're new here, really thank you for joining me on this journey. And I just wanted to share that Cap has been so great. People here are starting to find out about my YouTube channel already, so that... Uh, but it's cool, it's fun, everything that I do here is for fun and it's been very very enjoyable. And that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I pray that you stay safe, happy, and healthy wherever you are. Bye!